YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. That was Robson and I in the pair doing a little bit of experimenting with making the pair feel a bit better as we learn to row in the, you guessed it, learn to row pair. Oh yeah, but today we've made it to another week, through another week. Got my Friday shirt on, absolutely fantastic. But as you can tell from the title, We've got a little bit to do with online coaching for the Yam Squad. I've been talking about this for a long time, about me giving back to the Yam Squad, helping out the Yam Squad, but also not overstretching myself. So I think I've figured out a way to do the online coaching that I want to offer. And maybe I'll talk a little bit about the not so much online coaching, actually in-person coaching that I could maybe do later on. I've been speaking to the people here at Leander Club to maybe help out with that. But the online coaching should be up and running by the end of today. It'll be a sort of, it won't be fully polished, but it's to try and get it out there to see what needs to be improved, what needs to be better. And obviously I want to help out some people on the Yam Squad that want to have some online coaching. So, First things first, before we chat about that, we have to fuel up after the session because food is fuel. So let's get to that. Oh, you. And we've made it into the crew room for breakfast to fuel up on today's fuel. Look at the bread and egg toast and the Buesley, obviously. Maybe we can get some, oh, there's some banana in it. Absolutely delicious. But let's fuel up here and then we get to hop on the egg. Oh, you. And we have finished fueling up. It's time to go into the gym and do some weights. I've got my, one of the original tops. Yeah, buddy, tank tops that were last year at some point sold. And Fraser has the very original, original, original first Yam Squad top. Hopefully you'll see that in a little montage, but let's get to it. <laughs> after a lovely weight session and we're going to fuel up on today's fish friday fish and chips with a lot of tartar sauce and as you saw in the little weights montage fraser's back in the gym oh yes so fraser's been having a little bit of time off but here he is fraser christie what's going on youtube we're back about to step up the vlogs <laughs> why are you seeing me in and out of my face <laughs> Fraser, tell, tell everyone where you've been and how today was. Uh, just on holidays, really. Um, no, I had a heart surgery in August, came back, wasn't very good at rowing, so decided probably needed a bit more time off, so I had some more time off. Um, went to Cornwall for a bit, um, definitely recommend it. And now I'm back really slowly into some training, uh, one session a day, Getting there slowly, quite happy to be patient and hopefully not um, screw myself over again for that last time. That's about it. Oh yeah, and Fraser, you had your... So how long has it been since you've done weights and how was the weights today? Oh man, so um, I've done weights, I think I've done weights twice this year, <laughs> but the last two times were like in January. So I just did squats and I like the second set of squats on the way down, I think I tore both hamstrings <laughs> at the same time. So tomorrow I'm going to be in a whole world of pain, I think. So I wish Fraser luck on his recovery and his recovery from the Doms <laughs> that he already has five minutes after his weight session. But as always, we have to fuel up, especially Fraser, to refuel those torn muscles. Because remember, food is fuel. Oh, yeah. 
And we've made it outside of the club for another day. That is our Friday finished. Finished off the day with a little UT2 Ergo, keeping an eye on my heart rate again and making sure, and we've got George as well in the background. Keeping an eye on my heart rate, making sure I am not working or overworking, but also I'm feeling quite a big difference from post 2K changes to what's going on with me. So the recovery is better, the, the splits are better, mood's better, all those things just because of a few changes post doing a much slower split than I should be doing. But we're going to just put the camera down and then we're going to talk about coaching, Yam Squad coaching. Oh yeah! And we're talking about Yam Squad coaching. So, like I talked about earlier, I want to give back to the Yam Squad, but I also don't want to overstretch myself. So, there'll be a link in the description below for the yamsquad.com website. And on the website, in the shop, there is a new addition for coaching. And there's a few different categories for the coaching, and I'm still to narrow that down, but basically I want to do some sort of coaching definitely related to sort of online so you send in some videos and i analyze them and we talk about how we can improve them i would like to eventually get to a stage where i'm offering sort of fitness and like program things that you can work on to improve say your 2k score and whatnot but at first i think we're going to stick to the online coaching where you send videos in maybe it's of you on the erg maybe it's you on the water and we can discuss how you could improve your technique or even if, you're, if your technique's very good and how we can make it better or maybe make it worse. I don't know why we'd want to do that. Same thing on the water, some video of you on the water and then we can see what's going on. Maybe, maybe you're really good. Maybe you don't need any adjustments and we can just chat about rowing in general and how you want to, where you want to progress to, etc. So it's a bit of both, but like I said, there'll be a couple of categories on the, the yamsquad.com shop and it's I'm not sure 100% the name but it's yamsquad coaching something like that and then you'll like the drop down menu and different prices for each one but it's all in sort of a beta unpolished state at the moment so the plan is there's a private subreddit called yamsquad coaching and then all the people that want to be coached by me will submit their videos to that subreddit will be invited and get the get into that subreddit will communicate via there and then the people also on that channel can share their thoughts about your technique as well so it's a little community inside the, another the yam squad community that want to they want to help each other in their coaching goals i mean you don't have to do that at all it's just a matter of somewhere where you can have uh, some a uh, platform to see the video that you want me to see and so we can talk about it we can do it privately if you want me to do it privately but it is going to be reasonably private i'm going to narrow the numbers down i don't think more than 10 people just because like i said earlier i don't want to overstretch myself it might even be less than that as well like i said the final numbers are still to get finalized but all this also helps me continue what I'm doing. That's why I'm charging a little bit and it'll be a subscription basis. So you'll get charged per month what it says on the website for the coaching. And I will have a sort of guidelines of what I will do. I'm not going to be coaching every person every single day. I think what we'll do is narrow it down to maybe one week or the start of the week. There's a video that you show me and I give you a few drills as we talk about what you're working on and then the next week we'll see if you've improved. It'll be something like that, but we'll have to discuss if that works for you or not and then we'll see sort of in between and maybe we can organise some sort of um, Skype calls, FaceTime calls just to get the, the communication flowing. But like I said, it's in a sort of beta phase and it'd be great if you could join me in said beta phase and it's not all polished and it'd be great if you could help be part of the process in creating the Yam Squad coaching sort of circle. But let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea or if you think there's any other way I, I could make it more polished and hopefully a couple of you guys will be signing up within the next few days and we'll get the communication flowing and we'll get that 
air technique helped out or maybe even that on in the water technique helped out and get those scores a bit lower because really I think there's a lot of things you can change on the on the machine and on the water that can increase your efficiency and increase your speed but that will be it for today's video got the Oxford fixture tomorrow so that's going to be quite exciting we're going to be down there in the morning paddling and then I think the Oxford fixture itself is at 1.30 I believe but around there's loads of different things going on there's the uh, lightweight boat race I think and a lot of different things like I think there's 10 races on the tideway itself and we'll be boating on in Putney somewhere and then paddling down warming up and then doing the fixture itself with Oxford University from I believe it's Putney down to Chiswick think through Hammersmith and then a bit further but we'll soon find out it's going to be roughly 10 minutes we, I did this with the when I was here at Leander in 2016 and it was a great opportunity to see how we compare to those guys but now it's time to get the recovery in after the ergo after training today and then for before the fixture tomorrow where it's just another opportunity to demonstrate the fitness I have gathered, demonstrate the technique I have gathered and I'm hopefully going to get the 360 cam on the boat so we can sort of see a lot of stuff going on. And as always Yam Squad remember to subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button, hopefully you've enjoyed your week and have a good one.